Because huh. Pongkoso will win Taraba, he will win Adamawa, he will win Gwambe, Has he, done he will win Bauchi, Has he done including before? governorship. Just let, look, I don't talk frivolities. You know that. You are my witness. Everything I have said here had come to pass. And Nigerians will bear me with. Hold except, on. except that you told me in 20, before 2019 that Atiku Abubakar was going to win the election. He won. He was denied. You know he won. What? You can't swear by the Bible. I know you believe no, in God. Why do I swear? Why do I, I swear? Because that's, 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 the that reality is that if Atiku Abubakar won the election, he would have been the president. No, 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 not in Nigeria. And the courts have said no, and that you he's not see, the president. Now, let me make another point that here with you, I argued that Buhari must sign that Electoral Act in 2019. And he came out to say he was not going to sign because it is less than six months to election. Now they want to change the law because they are losing when it is only four months to the elections. So there is nothing I say. In fact, let me tell you that if you see any, any reorganization of any of the security systems in this country, Tell me, be assured that there is something up the sleeves of those who would advise the president to do that. And they have already made that arrangement. They want to go and convince the president to do that in order to help them win election. I call on Nigerians that they must take their destiny into their hands and that they must resist, including the international community, must resist all maneuvers to temper with the Electoral Act, which has already been agreed for. It is already less than four months to an election. The Electoral Act must stay, and the elections must be conducted with this Electoral Act. There and is... for Kwanko, so listen to me. Mm. He will win the Northeast. He will win the North Central. He will win the Northwest. Both combined, they have over 50-something 50, 50 million voters. So, and Konkoso will poach the south-south, Konkoso will poach part of the south-east, Konkoso will poach part of the south-west. I assure you that all Nigerians who desire freedom, who desire development, who desire progress, who desire their children to go to school, who desire health services, have no other person to vote for except Senator Rabiu Musa Konkoso, FNCEPHD. Anagi Buba Galadema, I'd like to ask you because I know politics is science, except if you are speaking as a spiritualist. Maybe you are conjuring some political powers from uh, somewhere I don't know, or maybe uh, it's a permutation and you're speaking in, in prophecy, or you are trying uh, to, by faith, speak some figures to, to life. You've not spoken to how your candidate, Kwon Kunso, is going to get all of these votes that you've talked about. Why should Nigerians vote Kwon Kunso? What does Kwon Kunso bring to the table? Why is Kwon Kunso better than the other candidates on the ballot? Thank you very much, Sheon. I, I would rather clap for you for asking this question. First, is there any candidate in this election that is half educated as Kwon Kunso? Half, not full. PhD in engineering. Which of them? Is there any candidate that has touched the life, lives of ordinary Nigerian, as Kongoso did? Is there any candidate that practically, verifiably, touchable, that had a performance while in public office, as Kongoso has done? Is there any candidate whose word is his bond among all as Konkoso? Is there any candidate of all of them that is as healthy, as healthy, as intelligent, and had a wide experience, legislative, diplomatic, and executive as Konkoso? Is there any that puts him miles and miles ahead of all of them? But why are the polls not in his favor? Uh, have you seen the polls? It's okay. Let's assume the polls are correct. So I sit down here. I conducted my poll. And I'm saying that Konkoso is the winner. Does that make it a, re a reality? But that's not how polls work. Oh, how do they work? They go to the field. The scientific. If I just sit down. Research. 
By who? By those who are professional in carrying out the polls. Please, that, forget about them. Contrived polls. There was somebody, one of the leading presidential candidates, hired a consultant from France to give him an honest position as to who is likely to win this election. And the polls or the consultant told them that the man that will win this election, unless something else happen, is Senator Rabiu Musa Konkoso. And that if there is an inconclusive election, that it is only between Konkoso and one other person. I wouldn't mention the other one. Who the person? I uh, know. You go do your research. Shebi, you said uh, you, you do polls. No, I don't do polls. I'm saying Ask those, those who do the polls to tell you the truth. They know the truth. That is why every candidate, look, one of the candidates gathered all the clergy in northern Nigeria and asked them to persuade Konkoso to step down for him. Who is the one person? of the candidates who is the candidate? gathered all the traditional rulers in, Ni in northern Nigeria to ask them to ask Konkoso to step down for him. One of the candidates went to all prominent people from northern Nigeria and asked them to persuade Konkoso to, to step down for him. One of the candidates gathered recently in Kaduna a conglomeration of, of, of faceless groups to say that they should, every candidate should now come and, 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 and put forward his manifesto as to what he will do to the North. As if Northerners don't know who is their friend. Is it what you will do as a politician that will stand you out or what you had done that will bear you witness to what you can do in future?